E3 2011. It's our last day at this year's E3, but before we go, here's a few of our favorite games. First up, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception for the PS3. To talk about what they've unveiled at the show, here's Arnie Meyer from developer Naughty Dog. So we've revealed a lot new for uh, Uncharted 3 here. We've got uh, co-op adventure, which is sort of a light narrative uh, co-op for two to three players. It's a little bit more like a standard co-op, not single player campaign based. And then uh, we've got uh, online multiplayer on the floor right behind me. Uh, it's up to 10 people, five versus five competitive. We're totally blowing out that mode, making it way bigger with weapon customization, weapon mods. Uh, and we revealed a, a snippet of single player, uh, sort of a cruise ship environment. You'll see how uh, we've actually turning the boat on its side. No, no, no. And you're just sort of seeing how the environment's sort of totally changing around on Drake. Uh, it's sort of really over the top action, sort of providing that cinematic feel again. That we're coming out November 1st, 2011. Of course, there wouldn't be an Uncharted if it weren't for Tomb Raider. But lately, the series has fallen from grace. But developer Square Enix is looking to bring Lara Croft back. Here's Brian Horton, senior art director of the new Tomb Raider, coming to the 360 and PS3 next year. One of our main goals with Tomb Raider is to try to um, reimagine the franchise. This is an origin story, something that we've never seen for Lara Croft before. She's 21 years old and she's on her first expedition. And in the story, she's just confronted with something that she has no experience to deal with. Uh, and that's where the survival tone comes in. And that changed our art direction. So you'll see a more decidedly darker, grittier version of uh, the Tomb Raider world and character. So Lara is going to grow and change all throughout her adventure and it's all wrapped around this filter of survival. We think all those components together sort of make it stand toe to toe with our competitors. Now, one of our favorite surprises from the show, El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron for the 360 and PS3. It's a hack and slasher based loosely upon the Book of Enoch, and you're tracking down seven fallen angels. Sure, it sounds weird, but awesome combat and loads of style make this game stand out. We spoke with the game's designer, Sawaki Takiyasu, to find out the backstory on how he got involved with this groundbreaking title. The genesis of this game actually was a collaboration between UTV Ignition's London studio and myself. They came to me with the concept of doing a game based on the Book of Enoch, and I was very excited that they gave me a tremendous amount of creative freedom. Obviously, the visual design is a big appeal because I'm an artist myself, and me and my team spent a lot of time crafting very unique visuals for the different stages in this game. However, I, I really feel that the gameplay is what sets this game truly apart. We wanted to make a game that was simple to get into, but yet had very great depth of gameplay, so the hardcore gamers and casual gamers alike could find something exciting about this game. And I'm happy to announce that it'll be available in North America for both PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 on July 26th, with a European release to follow. We've got one more surprise from the show, Hulk Hogan's main event, coming this fall exclusively for Kinect on the Xbox 360. And guess what? We spoke with Hulk Hogan himself to find out what he enjoys most about his latest game. You actually have to get up off the couch. No more thumb wrestling with a controller, brother. You gotta get up there, you gotta deliver the moves, you gotta deliver the action, and the more intense you are, the more intense the wrestling action is. I mean, you are dialed in, you are in the moment, and you actually become the greatest wrestler of all time if you listen to your coach. Looks fun. Any last words, Hulk? And the last thing we gotta say is what you gonna do when Hulk Hogan, Ryan, and Killer Ken behind the camera run wild on you, brother? What you gonna do? At this year's E3, there's something for everyone. From blockbusters like Far Cry 3 and Assassin's Creed, to casual games and even entirely new consoles. And so, we asked legendary developers Scott Campbell and David Jaffe for their take on this year's biggest trends in gaming. The trend is the market has just absolutely shattered into a gajillion pieces, but what's great is you are seeing such indie strong titles like Journey that you can see here at the Sony booth and sort of more than Nintendo, really sort of out there but very cool experiments that end up becoming you know really great gameplay and then you're seeing these massive epic cinematic experiences on things like the PlayStation 3 or the 360 
and kind of everything in between. And so I think it's really a fun, exciting time to be in the industry. That's it for this year. We'll see you in 2012. Hey, check out a new Gamers Weekly every week at foxnews.com slash gamersweekly and on iTunes. We'll see you there.